okay day today we'll be doing a gfc problem that is non-repeating numbers and the question statement is given an array a containing 2 into n plus 2 positive integers out of which 2 into n numbers exist in pairs whereas the other two numbers occur exactly once and distinct find the other two numbers uh, so if we are given n is equals to 2 my array size would be n into 2 that is 4 plus 2 6 i'll just explain it again so let's say if my n is equals to 3 then my array size will be equals to 2 into 3 that is 6 plus 2 that is equals to 8 so my array size will be equals to 8 and in my array we'll be, we will be given uh, every number which has some pair but only two numbers will be distinct that means Let's say if I've been given an array of from 1 to let's say 5, just in hypothetical scenario. So I will have 1, 1, 2, 2. Let's say I just have a 3 and a 4, 4, and I have a 5. So I will have something like this, and these two are my distinct pairs. That means th these are non repeating. So let's get to the problem how we can solve it. So my first intuition to solve this was to just sort the array so let's check with the given problem right here so how do we do it so i have got one two okay why is it not working i don't know i'll just switch to the whiteboard here so i have been given an array let's say suppose one um one two three two one four one two three two one four this was my initial given array and my n was equals to two so i have an array of size equals to six so here we can see that we have uh two distinct pairs here so what I will do, I'll first sort the array. So after sorting the array, I will have my element something like this. And after this, I can just iterate over my array O of n and just check if the adjacent pairs are similar. If a of i plus a of i plus 1 are similar, if those are similar, that means there is a pair which is non-distinct and if it is not equal that means the pair is distinct so let me just write it again so i will check for if a of i is equals to equals to a of i plus one so if this statement hold true that means i have two distinct pairs here i will also dry run it and show this so let me just put the indexing so this is it so i will check I'm iterating from 0 to n okay from 0 to n I'm iterating over here I will check if my a of i is equals to a of i plus 1 I check it yes it is so what I will do I will do an counter of i plus plus i I will do pre increment why we will do pre increment we'll get to that so I have incremented by plus plus i so my i was initially at 0 right and after that, I check if a of i is equal to a of i plus 1. Yes, it is. Then what I am doing? I am just incrementing by count of plus plus i. That means my i will become 1. And here, we already had an i plus plus in my for loop statement. So this will make it to 2. So my current indexing stands at here. So now we will check it again i is equal to i plus 1 yes it is so i will increment my count by 3 by 1 sorry and the counter will be 3 and after that we will return to the end statement of the for loop that is it should be incremented by 1 that means 4 and now my statement is here and i see these two elements are not equal if these two elements are not equal that means these are my distinct pair of the array so i will just push back 3 and 4 into my vector and return it 
so this is my intuition behind the basic approach that we can do of and this is what i have done here i've simply just taken an answer array and i've sorted it and i've looped from 0 to n and i will check if a of i is equal to i plus 1 this is what we were doing here if these two are equal cool we just increment by plus plus i so when we increment by plus plus i that means our counter go move still here so if it is not equal then we will just push back in my array and we return the answer and this is a submitted code i'll just run it again and show it to you that it's getting submitted and let's submit this again and it's getting submitted so this approach will take a total time of n log n and if we do not consider the answer array the space complexity will be o of n mind you i am not considering the answer array which i am returning then only the space complexity is o of 1 otherwise it will be o of 1 actually because i only will be having two distinct pairs in every time right and moving to the much more better approach not much more better approach i say a less effort approach you do not have to sort here anything you will simply just take a map of int command and this is my answer array now i'll simply map everything by increasing its counter what i'm doing here is i'll just erase this part and explain it to you again okay so this Okay, so this much should do it so here we have we are not uh, sorting this array so let this be we do not need it so what i'm doing i'm just simply incrementing its counter in my map so i will go to one and i will check what is my count of one right now it's one so i keep it one i go to one two i check what is my count okay it's one i mark it as one then i go to three it's one then I check that yes, I've got a 2. But have I got a 2 in my map again? Yes, I've got a 2 in my map. So this is it. So I'll increment the counter of 2 by 1 again. Then I go to 1. Then I see, is my uh, element already present in my map? Yes, it is present. Then I'll simply increment the counter by 1 of its element. Then I get 4. So I check 4. If it is not present, I'll simply insert it by incrementing the count by 1. So I will just for uh, iterate the in the map for from start to end and just check if my key value pair the value pair is having a value of one then i'll simply return the key of it that means just this i'll check if i dot second i dot second means this part the value part of it if this is equals to 1 i will return this 4 this is what i have done if this is equals to 1 i have returned this and i will return the answer array let's submit this again and show this and this is getting submitted and if you have any query you can leave it in the comment otherwise thank you for watching